And over the past 10 years, what we've done is we've built a movement. A movement consisting of survivors, of gun owners, of Democrats and Republicans, of millions of Americans united behind the common proposition that we can have guns, we can have rights, but we can have gun safety as well. I remember just a few months after we founded Giffords, despite our efforts, despite our lobbying, our advocating, our organizing, the Mansion Toomey background check bill, which we had supported, was defeated by a Ted Cruz-led filibuster. But we chose not to give up. What we did instead was we went to the state. And in the states over the past decade, we have passed 525 pieces of gun safety legislation in uh, roughly 45 states. And those laws that we've passed have been big and small, but collectively, they have saved many, many people's lives. And what you saw is that many of those policies became the basis in many ways for the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act. The Bipartisan Safer Communities Act passed with the support of 65 U.S. Senators, 15 Republicans, and United Democratic Caucus. It supports the application of extreme risk protection or red flag laws. It puts in place our first ever federal statute against gun trafficking, which will help limit the number of guns that end up on our streets. We are closing for the first time after many, many years, the boyfriend loophole. While we have sometimes taken steps forward, we have also taken steps back. And we have seen the NRA and the gun lobby have successes, most of the time in red state, where they have, despite opposition from the majority of residents, despite opposition from law enforcement, passed really dangerous laws. For example, permitless carry, which allows people to carry guns, loaded firearms on their person, anywhere, anytime, without any um, regulation whatsoever. In states that have adopted those laws, you see violent crimes spike, but they do it anyway because they're so subservient to the gun lobby. This is a policy that has support of 90% of Americans. Similar levels of support between gun owners and non-gun owners, large support from both Democrats and Republicans and independents. The only place where gun safety is controversial is occasionally in Washington, D.C. But even now, with the passage of the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act, we've shown D.C. is a place where Democrats and Republicans can come together. So I think what we did this past year in Washington demonstrates a path forward for the American people. We need to close these loopholes and have a comprehensive system that protects our kids and communities from gun violence. The horrific tragedy of Sandy Hook, the courage of the parents, the clarity of the community are directly responsible for everything that we've been able to achieve over the past 10 years.